guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the meat of today's video, working on the second gen, doing burnouts, all kinds of happy, crazy stuff, uh, we have a massive, huge announcement, don't we, babe? So uh, right now, as of today's date, the 12th, I believe it is, uh, through December 6th, WrenchWorks Toolbox Giveaway number two is officially live. So it is live now. You can go to WrenchWorks.com. Every $10 that you spend gets you one automatic entry. You guys will get an email with how many entries that you have, unlimited amount. You can buy t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that stuff. We'll go over the new gear, uh, but first I want to go over the toolbox with you guys. Super pumped and excited. Uh, it may not seem like it, but Christmas is around the corner. That's kind of why we went with the red theme on the toolbox. It is the Christmas, the ultimate Christmas gift. One of you guys will be getting a phone call from me myself letting you know that you have won and uh, we'll get this box to you guys and you probably will have the best Christmas gift ever. Ever. So uh, real quick, we're going to go over the toolbox, what it's filled with. You guys know the last roll cart went over. Awesome. Super pumped to, uh, to do this second one for you guys. You know, I'm truly passionate about working with your hands uh, getting out there, tools are just such a necessity on learning, getting more done. Uh, it is such a facilitator to take it to the next level. Going over the drawers real quick with you guys. Drawer number one, obviously most important over here. Got your sockets, got impacts, uh, three eighths and quarters, ratchets, uh, snap on torque wrench, tape measure. You guys know we got this filled up. Drawer number two, we got all sorts of drivers for you guys for the uh, screwdriver set, uh, all the mini stuff, and all of the uh, Torx, Allens, uh, all that kind of stuff. We got a chisel punch set over there in the top drawer. Coming down here, got uh, all sorts of screwdrivers, pliers, uh, cutters, vice grips over here. And then the next two drawers are also the uh, standard wrenches. Well, they're metric, but standard as in non-ratcheting. And then you got ratcheting over here in metric. Drawer down there, same thing, but in standard ratcheting and standard wrenches. Got the money drawer, all of the Milwaukee cordless tools you could possibly want. Bottom drawer down here. You have got oh, the drawers, it's brand new, obviously brand new toolbox, the uh, drawers are still a little sticky here. We got your hammers, pry bars, tire pressure gauge coming over here. Got uh, just some miscellaneous stuff that obviously you're going to need, picks, files, calipers, uh, paint markers, your knife. Got some drill bits. Just some more drill bits, uh, some more uh, stuff for your impact drivers. Got the battery chargers. Last but not least, some more Milwaukee stuff, cordless grinder, and also cordless circular sauce. Everything to get you jump started, everything that you need to really make some dent in all of your projects. Uh, plenty of room to grow in this box. Uh, it is filled, but has room to grow. I'm super excited about this. This is uh, definitely a step up from the roll cart being a 55 inch double bank uh, deep box. Super, super pumped. Two last details that I forgot about the toolbox. We are waiting for our custom Blackout Wrenchworks billet badge to come back in. It's going to match the snap-on one. It's going to be right here. So that is on the way as well in the next day or two. And also, if you guys remember the first giveaway, the roll cart side was wrapped on both sides. We are going to wrap this side because we were waiting for this toolbox for a little bit. We didn't get a chance to do it beforehand, but the wrap is coming. So if you love it now, the wraps on either side and the billet badge are gonna take it over the top. So anyway, real quick, I'm trying to speed through this. I'm gonna to try to slow down my talking, right babe? I'm getting, getting, getting the look like you need to, need to slow down. You need to slow down. So anyway, super pumped on the box. Uh, it is really gonna help you guys out. Also in the first three days, I'm over here. First three days, if you order in the first three days, we are also gonna do a random drawing. Someone is either going to pick from another Milwaukee tool pack uh, 500 bucks in cash or an air dog system for your truck. Uh, we're going to pick one of you guys if you order in the first three days. So get those orders in. Also, just a little bit of back end talk. Uh, again, we're going to try to keep the website as stocked as possible um, with everything that's happening on in the world and the recent hurricane. 
It's making it extremely hard to keep everything stocked the entire contest. So if you guys, you need to get the orders in in the first couple days, it will significantly help get your orders out as quick as possible. Just a disclaimer, get them in now, get it quick. If your loved ones are watching, tell them to get those orders in now. Just so I wanna make sure you guys get all this stuff for Christmas, um, for any type of events that you guys have. Um, and then you can get those entries in. So anyway, all of the new stuff over here, we're gonna run through real quick. What do we got first, babe? Long sleeves. So we got all of the new long sleeve designs. We've got some new hats up there. We've got some new uh, Arctic cups. We got the slim cans. And I know, I know, I know some of you guys are gonna love this color. Got that neon color, new socks. Guys, I'm telling you, there is a ton to look at on the website now with all of the winter stuff. You guys have been blowing me up about the winter stuff. So uh, tons of long sleeve shirt options, tons of hoodie options. We got the flag design. We got the uh, built in America. We got the bolt design on the back. This is the back side. Uh, and then we got some more over here. Allie is wearing this. This could be a guy's or girl's color. Lots of different options, tons of different options. I got the black camo. Uh, these three are women's. Give us, give us a rundown a little bit on the women's stuff because you, you, you know me, that's, that's not my department. So uh, cropped, yeah, cropped, hoodies. Black camo, so like you can the same if you're feeling matchy. And then these two colors, we got a nice sage green and then a blush color. So yeah, those are, are, these are cropped? Yeah, cropped sweatshirts. Cool. Got the new socks. Same socks as last year. If you guys have worn these socks, you guys know the deal. Uh, these socks are the best socks ever. Just a little bit different design, but same sock. Got some lightweight flannels. So three different colors on lightweight flannels. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Allie already said, she, these are these are extra large for me. She's like, are you gonna keep all three of those? I was like, yeah, what do you think else? What do you think I'm gonna wear to Christmas and Thanksgiving? So uh, these are a little bit more of a nicer, lightweight flannel, um, not insulated really, but just a nice shirt option. Um, so I'm gonna say like, if you're gonna rank uh, winter clothing, you got a long sleeve. These are slightly heavier than a long sleeve shirt. You got a medium weight quilted flannel right here red and black, so that's like more of the medium. And also by popular demand, we brought back the jackets. There are two different color jackets. I don't have the tan one here, but also with the leather patch, got the American flag. The other color is like this color right here. It is a two-tone brown jacket. So again, guys, make sure you spend some time on the website. There is a ton of new stuff, a ton of new options. Um, little, little accessories here. Uh, we got beanie options now. What else? What else? Oh, the backpacks. Yeah, we have awesome oh, backpacks. guys. If you, if you, I don't know what you need a backpack for. If you just need to carry your laptop around, if you're going to school, we got some really, really cool backpacks. What else? Sort of oh, the mailman. We, there's, there, oh, there, there is lots of stuff coming in the mail today, apparently. Anyway, guys, I tried to get through that as quickly as possible for you guys so we can get to the main part of the video. But again, go to wrenchworks.com and get those orders in now. If you guys see something that is out of stock, chances are that it's going to come back in a day or so. So make sure you guys continually check back in. If there's something that's missing or out of stock, we're gonna try, like I said, to keep it as up to date as physically possible. But get those orders in in the first three days. Again, truly, Truly, Allie and I appreciate your support in everything that we do uh, more than anything in the world. So thank you guys as always for that. Uh, I'm super, super excited to give you guys that call right before Christmas, let you guys know you won that. So make sure you guys get those entries in and on to today's video working on the second gen. I think I know what that stuff is. It's kind of heavy. Don't carry it. I can get it. You go, girl. Yeah, it's shop stuff. Shop equipment. So where we left off on the second gen is we are just about ready to bleed the brakes. Uh, we are running out to get our last sway bar end link. And then this thing is back on the road and driving. And that is what we are gonna focus on first in today's video. Back up, Terry. Back up, Terry. Back up to the door, Terry. Michael's been out running errands all morning. He's been picking up some supplies. Like I said, we needed that, uh, my good, that's so loud. That's so loud. I 
can't even talk on camera. This thing is so loud. Oh, boy. Oh, good morning, Michael. I mean, good afternoon. What do, what do, what do we got? Uh, what do these blue things mean? Why are they blue? Go fast balls. Is, is that the giggle juice? Yes. Giggle gas? And we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't dentists here. We ain't putting people to sleep. <laughs> oh, we putting, uh, <laughs> we, we putting people to sleep, all right. <laughs> you fill up those nitrous bottles, baby. Uh, so uh, what is this other one? Were we out of welding gas? Yeah. So we were out of welding gas and this weekend, so look forward to some videos because test and tune at the track opened back up and you know, the 05 over there has been, has been waiting to make a 999 pass. And you know, with, with the help of our friends here, uh, we have actually never ran the truck quarter mile with the nitrous hooked up. We went to King of Street last year with the nitrous for the first time and we've never made a quarter mile pass with the nitrous on it. So that's hopefully this weekend. Uh, and also we're gonna unbox, Michael, look at what came. Look what came in the mail today. I don't know what that is. These, I mean, what? <laughs> so we're gonna open up those boxes and we went ahead and got the sway bar end link and we are gonna bleed these brakes. Are you the pump man or am I the pump man? Are you, are you burping up your lunch from uh, yeah. Blaze? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, with the little bit of daylight that we have left, because the day has gotten away from us, boys, we are gonna get some work done. And Michael told me that uh, he needs to teach me how to do a burnout in the second gen properly. So we might let Michael really destroy these tires. <laughs> Use my Wrenchworks edition package opener. Don't get, don't get our address in here. Oh, <laughs> safety. Everyone was worried about our safety, including me. <laughs> so we got some got some screw jacks here. What? You just kicked that? What'd that thing ever do to you? All right, so first thing on the list done. Uh, if you guys want a link to the screw jacks that we got, these are Sunex, I don't know if that's pronounced right, but 1500 pound screw jacks that way if we have something up on the lift that needs some support in the front because these trucks are real uh, front heavy we can stick these underneath the truck or in the rear uh, I'll put a link down below to where I got them and you guys can check them out they were actually relatively cheap I think they were only 75 80 bucks a piece so really good peace of mind for 75 bucks Michael uh, Michael gives gives no cares when a truck is up on the lift he is just wailing away so we need to make sure that we are. Hey, you need you need help there, little guy. That thing weighs probably twice what you weigh. <laughs> My goodness. Where where's our nitrous station going to be? This is exciting. A little razzle. A little dazzle. Geppetto? The little hammer? Alright, update. The back bleeders have vice grip marks on them, and we didn't try and get those free yet. And it's a moment of truth. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're three for four. Are you really, are we really gonna get out the, uh, the Victor? Victor! No, this is... Oh, oh. Uh, mini, is... mini Victor. Yeah. Oh, mini Vic. Vic Jr. Vic Jr. <laughs> Come on, Vic Jr. Oh, things are happening. Things are happening. Oh man. Is that a win? Oh, that's a win, we have brake fluid. So before we start pumping, what we're gonna do is we are gonna pull the bleeder. Seeing that, uh, we have some suspicion that uh, they've never been 
uh, apart recently. We're gonna put some anti-seize on them, right? Yep. That way uh, prevents any issues down the road. Tell me, tell me when to pump, Jimmy. Pump. Man, it doesn't even really feel that bad right now. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Have you ever had to bleed brakes by yourself? How would you do that? Uh, I'm sure where there's a will, there's a way. Call an Uber. Call an Uber? Hey, I don't need your vehicle. I don't need your vehicle. I just need your foot. Uh, pump three or four times and smooth pedal pushing. Not like not fast, fast create there. Oh, am I, am I pumping incorrectly? Yeah. Oh, man. Nice, smooth, big pushes and don't let it touch the floor. That's what she said. What? You heard it from the man. No no quick pumps, fellas. <laughs> slow, <laughs> slow, <laughs> slow pumps win the race. All right, holding. All right, brakes are officially checked off the list. As long as we don't back out of the shop and uh, crash into the wall, I think we'll be all right. But the pedal feels a-okay. We got the drop shackles uh, tightened down, locked down, and the brake lines are good. And we got the front all done. Wheels are actually uh, torqued to spec on there, unlike last time we drove it. I, uh, I may have forgot to torque the wheels down. But uh, yeah, everything else, everything else is done. <laughs> to uh, test to make sure your brake lines are good is do a burnout. I think I just read that on the manual. You wanna, you wanna do the honors? All right, we're letting Silent Mike finish off the clutch. He was, uh, he was the man and finished up all the brake lines, so I was like, well, if anybody's gonna finish off the clutch, it might as well be you, so. This is, uh, this is bringing Silent Mike back to his uh, VP glory days. <laughs> I think you need a taller gear there, Jimmy. <laughs> what was that second? It's in four wheel drive from the, from the uh, last. What? It was in four wheel drive. Oh, is that what you were doing? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need four wheel drive. <laughs> Oh, that was the clutch. Oh yeah, there's smoke. There was smoke out from underneath here. That was the clutch. Okay. So, is it worth doing one more or probably not? Okay, I'll let you make that decision. <laughs> Clutch, clutch is not happy. <laughs> All right, guys.
guys, well, we knew the uh, we knew the factory clutch was not going to hold any more power than it did the other day, and that was pretty much that was pretty much finito. So, hey, my friends, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. While we did not uh, do a completely solid day's worth of work, we did get the uh, brakes completely uh, finished up, the suspension completely finished up, and managed to uh, toast our factory clutch in the uh, in the making. Uh, but who doesn't love some burnouts? Well, you know, clutch, right, right Jimmy? Clutch or no clutch, who doesn't love burnouts? So uh, we have a South Bend already ready to go in this thing. We kind of knew that was going to happen. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com again. Every 10 bucks that you spend gets you entered in to win the Candy Apple Christmas Loaded Toolbox. I keep wanting to say roll cart, but we have graduated from roll cart. We are on to full toolboxes. So make sure you guys head over to Wrenchworks. Again, your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. We thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Hopefully, we're going to be hitting the track this weekend. Plenty more action to come. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit the like button. Turn your notifications on. See you in the next one. See you.